Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Leo Vidal and what we have here today are your options for Canon pinion removers to buy brand new in 2021. There may be other options I've not come across, but at least I can show you these two. Know that there are other options to buy if you buy used, but this video covers Canon pinion removers that are readily available to purchase from horological suppliers in 2021. On your left is the Bergeon reference 4854 and on your right is the Bergeon reference 30637-2. They are both very different, but essentially they both do the same job. Let's have a look at them in detail and we'll start with the Bergeon 4854. We have a wooden handle and a steel lever. As you can see, pressing the lever down lifts the shaft. Here is a collet and as you press down on the lever, the collet will close, grip the cannon pinion, retract and remove the cannon pinion. I'll show you the cannon pinion remover from different angles so you can clearly see how it operates. This is the view from the back. Here it is from the side. And this is the front view. And this is how it looks from the top. Let me disassemble the tool. We can start with this plastic part. You need to push here and you will be able to move the lever to a position where you can remove it. Just like so. Now you can remove the shaft. And here you can see the ball bearing and a spring below it. Let me show you from the other side. You can see through the hole the ball bearing. And from the top you can see the ball bearing inside. This is the ball bearing. This is the spring. And this is the collet. There is also a spring here that can be removed. Let me show you the shaft without the parts. To assemble it, we can start with this spring. Followed by the collet. Now the spring. And finally the ball bearing. Now we can insert the shaft into the handle. Pushing on the shaft from the bottom, we can now insert the lever. We can test the operation. And finally, we can put back on the plastic part. Here 
Here's our Canon pinion remover. This is the version 30637-2, also known as the Presto tool, and the purpose of this tool is removing Canon pinions and hands of large watches. The sides act as a spring, and when you press on them, they will extend. Let me show you the action of this tool a little bit closer. This view clearly shows how the tool functions. As you press on the sides, the tool will close, grip the cannon pinion, retract and remove the cannon pinion. I'll show you the rest of the tool. You would simply put the tool on the cannon pinion, press the sides and remove it. We are going to remove two cannon pinions. This is the first one and I'll measure the diameter of the cannon pinion, which is 1.35 millimeters. We'll start with the Presto tool and that lifts the cannon pinion effortlessly. Now we'll remove the same cannon pinion with the cannon pinion remover. Beautiful. This is our second cannon pinion and the diameter of this cannon pinion is 0 0.97 millimeters. We'll start with the Presto tool. And as you can see, it's no problem at all. This is the cannon pinion remover. And as you can see, the cannon pinion stays in its place. To wrap it up, the cannon pinion remover is a magnificent tool. However, it falls short when removing cannon pinions below 1 mm in diameter. The tool can remove cannon pinions from 1 to 1.8 mm in diameter. It would have been fantastic if Bergeon made an alternative collet that could be swapped with the collet that is supplied with this tool and was able to remove cannon pinions that are less than 1mm in diameter. However, this option is not available, therefore the more practical tool is the Presto tool. I own both, they are my tools and if I could keep only one, I'd keep the Presto tool. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, give it thumbs up and check out my other videos.